Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Astro Nuggie, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how I make my Samsung 22 Ultra more aesthetic, more me, by showing you how I customize the icons, wallpapers, and phone cases. We are going to start from the outside in. So first up is phone cases. I will never use my phone without a case. I am way too scared. I drop it too much. Plus I just don't like how thin it feels. Obviously it's really nice and sleek in the hand, but I just don't think it's practical. For someone that has butterfingers, I just don't think it's the safest bet day to day. The first thing I do when I get a phone is I will get a bunch of phone cases so that I can swap them out depending on my mood, on my outfit, or if it's just been a while and I've had the same phone case and I'm just kind of bored of it. I have had Samsungs for the last, I don't even know how long it's been, but my very first one was the S3 and I despise it. And I went back to iPhone for a while. And then my first Samsung that really sold me was the S8 Plus and I've had them ever since. So I had the 8 Plus, 10 Plus, 20 Plus, and then I jumped to the 22 Ultra. This is my first time having an Ultra. I don't love the square corners as much, but this was a great phone. I did have some issues with it. I think I might've just had a dud, but these phones just feel so customizable and I'd really just gotten used to the UI, so I absolutely adored it. I do wish that I had gotten the regular S22 Plus, but when I was in the store, the person working there convinced me to get this. I really wanted the different colors because my 20 Plus had the beautiful like blue pearl back and it was gorgeous so I wanted something similar for that but they didn't have it in stock go with your gut don't let people try to talk you out of something that you know deep down you want I have a hard time saying no sometimes but nonetheless this phone is beautiful the quality is amazing so let's personalize it case if I actually reached out and wanted to send me some really cool cases, including one that's custom to my name and me, which is really cool. I would absolutely love to be able to design my own phone cases one day. But for now, they completely curated some styles for me, which I love because come on, like gamer theme. This is right up my alley, super cute. And this one is totally custom to me. They put my name on it, which I think is so cute and kind of like a gamer cyberpunky font. I always gotta check if there's something hiding underneath the packaging. <laughs> Then they also sent me, oh, this is so pretty. Okay, so they sent me a really basic one, black on black, you know, if you don't really feel like having something super colorful, but if your outfit, let's say, is yellow, but I don't have a case here that matches, boom, right there, perfect. I love this one. I've really been into more like florals and fun, funky, like 90s vibes lately for my little nostalgic heart, so I absolutely love this. This is so cute, love the blue tones in there. They also sent this really cute phone charm. For some reason, my box is a little dirty, but like it's the box, who cares? I have never had a phone charm before. Oh good. I'm not a graceful package opener. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, I know the C is supposed to be for Caseify, but like my first name is Christina. I'm just gonna pretend that this is for me. I'm absolutely going to have to learn how to put this on. I think it's in the corner. This is so fun. Oh my God, they're little mushrooms. I didn't know. I guess if you want just like some extra hold, if you're someone that doesn't really use pop sockets, you want to be able to wrap this around your wrist and just for like an added little accessory, this is adorable. I've actually worked with Case Defy in the past. Not like this, they actually just had sent me one case from the BTS collection. And it was during my phase where like, I was on my way out from being like a diehard fan, but I absolutely loved the case, so I kept it. Um, I felt really cheesy and corny and like mildly embarrassed because I'm pushing a certain age where, you know, I'll get made fun of. But again, I didn't care that I wasn't in love with the design anymore. I just was obsessed with the quality of the case because you can feel a difference. I actually really like this one. I don't love just plain black. That's why I try and hide my phone with a nice case. But this looks really sleek. I'm getting so many fingerprints everywhere.
This one is where I wish my phone was a really nice color because this would look so cool if I had a lighter colored phone, but I think it's still gonna pop because of the blue. So satisfying. Oh, that looks so cute. If you want something a bit more than just a flat black, this is so cute. You can customize your own. So I'm gonna watch a video and I'm gonna learn how to put this on. Thank you so much Casetify for sponsoring this portion of the video. This looks so much better. It feels so much better. And this is how I love to have my phone, just super secure in a nice thick quality case. So if you'd like to check out my favorite picks, customize your own Casetify case with colors, fonts, and your name, or look through their hundreds of designs in multiple case styles for nearly every device, then you can use my link in the description or head to casetify.com slash astronuggy. My desk is an absolute mess now. So let's clean this and we'll move on. is about to die, so let's plug her back in. So I love always on display. I recently set it to tap to show before it used to always be on. And when I first got the Samsungs and I noticed this feature, I would 100% put a photo. And then I only used the clock face, but lately I've been using it again. I love that they updated it so you can change the color. It used to just be one solid like white, I think. You can put stickers is really cute and you can also use the Samsung store to purchase whatever theme you want. Next we're gonna jump into the wallpapers. But right now I just have one of my favorite photos of my setup but you can tell that it doesn't really fit. So what I wanted to share is that I actually created my own wallpaper pack. It's available right now on Gumroad. I released four different packs including the OG Game Over wallpaper that I originally made but lately I have been using uh, this wallpaper that I have on my computer. This is the latest one called the Retro Collection. I also have the Dark and Moody collection, along with the Pastel collection, which I love this one. It has just a lot of really pretty pastel shades. I've been using Lavender Love a lot. So part of the retro collection, I included two different styles. So there's a grainy style where there's a bit more contrast, more depth, more shadows. And then it also has a grainy effect on top to really push it over the edge for the retro feel. Or it comes in completely flat, just like a solid color, more modern and sleek. I absolutely love velvet walls. So I'm gonna save this one and my favorite is clearly this one that I have on my computer This one is called cotton candy each theme of the retro pack comes with four different sizes So one for vertical a standard format that's in about 7k and then I made two for ultra rides and super ultra rides Next, I'm gonna show you the launcher that I use, which is called Eevee Launcher. It's free and can be found on the Google Play Store. This has been the launcher I've been using for a while because it's super easy to customize how many columns or rows for your home screens. You can change the size of the icons and you can even change the appearance of the icons super easily just from whatever you download on the Google Play Store. My all-time favorite icon pack is called Ycons because it suits every wallpaper you choose since it's just flat white. Okay, I don't know if anyone else is like this, but every single phone I've ever had, I've used the exact same layout and app placement because it's so embedded in my brain. I hate change, so they've all been the exact same layout. I'll leave a link to this icon pack in the description. Next, I use this free app called KWGT, which gives you more widgets to use. However, note that most of them are paid. They have some really cool clock faces with the date included, and I love having a giant clock on my main homepage, followed by my most used app so that I can quickly glance at my phone and see the time. Again, I've had this set up for a really long time, so I was glad to find an app like this. Next up, I love having a custom keyboard because I've gotten so used to having the number row above all of the letters. It just makes typing so much easier and faster. 
Mixer. For being a free app, SwiftKey has a bunch of fun themes, but you can also customize your own. I just use a dark keyboard since it goes with everything and is less distracting, but they also have some settings to not remember certain words if you keep making the same typos over and over again, which is super convenient. I've also found that it has pretty good AI and memory of your favorite emojis and most used words. Really quickly, I wanted to show the messages app that I use because I use Pulse SMS. You can customize every single message thread for all of your contacts. And every time they text you, the little message notification in the top bar or on your lock screen will be the same color as what you have set as your chat bubbles for them. That's really it guys for how I make my Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra more aesthetic and feel more custom to me and my needs. Feel free to let me know if you have any suggestions in the comments for your favorite apps or accessories that you also like to use. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.